Hi guys, um, welcome to Let Ebony Tarot. Um, today, I just this is just a quick message for um, people who have broken hearts or people who have trust issues or people that um, have a hard time letting go of like things that have happened to them in the past or from past people. Um, I advise you to not get yourself into relationships entanglement situations like it's imperative that you focus on yourself and that you focus on your healing you know everybody um heals at a different time somebody can get over something in a week another person can get over some that same thing in a month another person it could take a year and so on and so forth but if you have um trust issues of any kind it's you should not be in a relationship because what will happen is you'll end up projecting those issues and those insecurities onto the other person and it's not fair it's not fair for someone else to um take on your emotional baggage if you know that there's things that you need to work on um it's important for you to take time of solitude and for you to be on alone because a lot of people they the way that they deal with things is like jumping into relationships and situationships with other people and um that's not a healthy thing to do, um, especially if you're somebody, for example, that you're like frightened that someone's gonna cheat on t on you, cheat on you, because you know someone from three years ago cheated on you. Then it's like, um, why get into a relationship with a new person if you're always gonna have that energy carrying from somebody that done something from the past? You need to accept that you haven't let that go, and uh, you know this is where the um energy of forgiveness comes in like when you're told to forgive people it's not to um does it mean like if you forgive someone that betrayed you or backstabbed you that it means that you're going to be open to um allowing that person back into your life all it is demonstrating is that um you're releasing the energy of resentment you're releasing the energy of paranoia you're releasing the energy of anxiety you're letting it go if you don't let go and you hold grudges and you hold on to things, it will manifest inside of you and then it's going to destroy any type of union that you have to come because the universe can send you a blessing. You can sit down and script for something that you've asked for and I've said this before in my past videos. Um, but, you know, you need to remember that when the things that you want that you're asking the universe for, you need to be prepared for it. When you're asking for your divine partner or somebody that you that you your soulmate or you know whatever you refer it to um are you ready for that person do you know how to receive love do you know how to give love is it always the battle of the mind the battle of the wits you're trying to prove oh see something from my perspective when your perspective is is not what's happening it's not what's going on you know you should be able to um, healthily express your emotions and things to your partners without it always turning into an argument or a war. There is no love found in a battlefield, only war. I repeat, there is no love found in a battlefield, a battlefield, <laughs> sorry, only war. Okay, so, you know, because there's a lot of energy of like codependency, people are always looking for love, but it's like, you can't find love if you don't love yourself. It's self-love is the most powerful love. Then when you've got love filled up, then you can equally exchange it with another person because that person is also filled up. So then it that's what the, um, the um, infinity symbol is represents to me. You know, when it goes, like the number eight, when it goes into another. It's like that person has just as much self-love or just as much love to give as you do. So it's kind of like, you're always giving. When one person is filled with self-love and the other person isn't, the other person is insecure, they don't love themselves or they're still holding on to shit from the past, they're, they're, they're only half filled up or whatnot. It's like you're giving into that person and they're taking. It's no equal exchange. You understand what I'm trying to send? And, and then it just becomes like this. Constant arguing, constant that. And then, then that's when things become toxic and then you start to think that this is what love is. Love is arguing and then makeup sex or love is this and then that and love is... It's not. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? And sometimes it's not the other person. Like, sometimes it's you. Because I find that people always like to victimise themselves and say, oh, you know, well, this person done this to me and that person done that to me. So what did you do? You know, you, you can't be um, the victim in every single one of your stories. You're a villain in someone's story. 
you must have done something for that person to react that way or this, that. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes you've got to really sit down and think, but you have to have that emotional intelligence and that emotional maturity to um be able to be in a healthy relationship with a person. If you're not in a healthy relationship with yourself, you're not going to be able to be in a health, healthy relationship with anybody else. And um, so, yeah, I, I just want to just say that to people because, you know, on my channel, I, I'm here to try and help people to elevate themselves in the best way that they can. And it's one of the reasons why even when I offer readings, I don't offer questions. Obviously, if you book like a an in-depth reading or a, um, or a standard reading, you know, I, I do it by rows for those of you who actually explore the um videos in the description box so if you do have a question you can um it can be part of the reading but i don't offer like like i could say do you know what five pound for a question but the reason why i don't do that is because um because i was thinking of doing that in a live where i was going to come on and then if anybody had questions i'll pull cards but the reason why i don't do that is because i know a lot of people are attached to their past and so, as a reader, it's very draining, you know, when you're proper in tune of energy, um, it's very draining for, like, to, like, keep answering the same questions, when you energetically know the answer, you know, when it's like, oh, will my ex come back to me, or does this person still love me, or da, 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 or what's going on here, it's just like, because you're refusing to see the situation, like, a lot of people actually spend a lot of money on readers going to different people until they hear the answer that they want to hear, um, and sometimes the answer is you need to let go. And then they'll be like, yeah, no, I knew I needed to let go. So why did you need somebody else to tell you that? Do you know what I mean? Like, you you, you need to have some sort of, um, I don't know, self-independence. Like, do you, know, do you know what I mean? I know some people need guidance. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with reaching out and shit like that. But what I'm saying is that people will be paying and investing in energy and time on a person that isn't investing in them. You know, half the time, the, the guy or the girl that you're worried about is dibbing and dabbing in 10 other vaginas and riding 10 other dicks. But you're here putting money to ask about them. They ain't thinking about you. Do you know what I mean? You should be asking, you know, what, what energy is coming towards me? What what do I need to do to this? You know, what career, what, what money, what investments do I need to make? You know, do I need to eat healthy? Like, how is your mental health? How is your physical health? Like, let's look at you as a person before you worry about a dickhead that don't give a fuck about you. Or you worry about somebody that's only there to mentally destroy you. Or you worry about love where, where someone's going to take care of you. Yeah, but again, that's that codependent energy. Like, oh, when am I going to find someone that can take care of me? And da, da, da. Why can't you take care of yourself? Because a lot of people, um, they want things that they can't give. You know, you need to match the requirements of your requirements. It's like a poor person saying, oh, I want a rich man one day to um, take care of me. What rich man wants a poor person, a poor woman? I mean, let's just be real. I'm not saying that you that scenarios like that don't happen, but I'm just saying, and when I say poor, I'm not necessarily speaking about money. This could be spiritually or mentally poor. You know, what if somebody's really worked on themselves and they're independent and, you know, they've got all these good qualities, of course that person is going to want to be with somebody that also matches that. You know, if I've worked on myself, I want someone else that's worked on themselves. I don't want a project. You know, because work, to me, if you're doing work, you should be getting paid for it. So you're not getting paid to look after someone's son or someone's daughter because they can't deal with their own emotional issues. That then becomes a burden and relationships shouldn't be a burden. And I'm not saying that you can't go through trying times together and things like that. But I'm talking for the people that are, oh, um, clarification. I'm talking to the people that ask for like divine shit. Someone who wants a divine union and a divine masculine. You need to look up the word divine. You need to look at the meaning of divinity. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Are you somebody who you can call yourself divine? Because divine and toxicity, they don't, they're not on the same spectrum. Do you know what I mean? They don't reside in the same fucking um, realm. One is up and one is below. So if you're somebody that's got toxic traits, but you're looking for a divine relationship, you need to purify yourself so that you can then attract. And because, you know, some people have a lot of power, right? They're very, very powerful. So they can attract somebody of divinity, even if they're toxic. But it's like the relationship will always turn toxic because, you know, it only takes one drop of um, something toxic to, to contaminate clear waters. 
So if you're toxic, you're the contamination, you're going to contaminate your pure partner and then it's going to turn toxic and then you're going to be like, oh, why does nobody love me? Why does relationships always happen? Because it's you. <laughs> you want a pure person and you think that the person is going to purify you. It doesn't work like that. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Negativity spreads more than positivity does. Look at the world that we live in. Look at, even like when you look online and you see certain like readings that um, get lots of views, it's always the most toxic readings with the most toxic titles. That's why I feel like a lot of like genuine readers don't watch other readers because it's like they're always talking about some bullshit. You know, you, you can even tell by the certain decks that people get. Like I like to get high vibrational decks with loving positive messages obviously there's always going to be shadowy stuff in decks but i can tell like even sometimes with readers they'll write down shit like oh yeah this person's fucking your sister and stds and da -da -da, and they'll shuffle their own cards that they've created and then they'll look at the card and be like oh my god why does this keep coming out why did you write that like do you know what i mean but um no and this is no shade to anyone i'm just saying like i see how negativity is something that people um are more drawn to than positivity and I just feel like I don't know man I feel like balance needs to be restored as a quadruple Libra but I feel like balance can only be restored when we look at the reflection within ourselves because you know if, if you're toxic you're only going to project toxicity to anything and anyone that you encounter and that's why your life is the way that it is people can sit there and go oh someone's done a spell on me this that and the other maybe they have or maybe it's just you or maybe it's both but either way you need to become a better version of yourself because i think it's unfair for people to want the best version of somebody else but they're not prepared to give that person the best version of themselves you know that that's that's imbalance that that's that's just not going to work okay and sometimes you've got to take your emotions out of a situation and look at something from a logical perspective which i think is what a lot of people can't do a lot of people are very attached to their emotions and your emotions can really be quite destructive to um your spiritual journey some people will never level up they will never ascend because they're too stubborn their energy is too fixed and the only people that can deal with that is people that are on a low vibration. That's why you've got people who um, end up going into mental institutions or developing, you know, narcissism and personality disorders or turn into drunks and alcoholics and addicts because they weren't spiritually strong enough to temper their emotions. And then so they've kept themselves at a low level because... It's, it's, it's the only place they feel comfortable. Some people are comfortable to negativity. They're comfortable to holding on to shit from the past because it's an excuse, isn't it? It's like, oh, yeah, I behave like this because this, because that. Why do you want to attach yourself to something negative? Why don't you want to say, I broke free from this? I used to be like that, but now I'm this, now I'm that. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Sometimes peace to somebody is boring. You know, people understand when you're peaceful and you're... You're, you're happy-go-lucky by yourself. It's like, how can you be by yourself and be peaceful? How can you not be? I always say, I would rather be alone than be in bad company. And, you know, if you're, if you're by yourself and you don't have peace of mind and you've got shit eating away at you in your brain, you need to ask yourself, what is it about you that resonates with the toxicity that keeps attaching itself? Because as they say... What you allow is what will continue. You know, things are not going to keep drawing themselves to you if there isn't something in you that is attracting that energy. I don't know if I'm making sense because I feel like I kind of went off topic there. But <laughs> but anyway, that... Oh, oh my God, just lit myself out. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Um, yeah, so if anyone would like to book a personal reading... All info is down below. Please make sure that you're reading everything before booking with me. And obviously email me first. Don't just send random payments. Um, and also follow the instructions carefully when I email you what to do. Because there are no refunds if you make a mistake. Okay? Okay. And um, if you felt like it resonated, please do comment, like, and share. Okay? Toodles!